All right, computer lovers, welcome back to uh, computer class. And today we are going to review and go, go over some things in a spreadsheet, spreadsheet called formulas and functions. Okay? And we're going to do this by calculating our grade. And uh, this is a little different way than we normally calculate our grade, but we're going to take keyboarding at 20%, quizzes and blogs at 20%, and our project projects at 60%. That makes 100% for our grade. Some things that you should know. We need to know what a formula is. We need to know what a function is. Fill down, move, uh, percentage format, a decibel format, and a weighted average. And we'll talk about those as I go through this. So I have put now some scores in here. And I'll take these sums off here because we need to show you how to then add up these. And uh, let's see if you can help us out. A formula or a function always starts with a... Always starts with an equal sign. Okay, an equal sign. So, I could probably put this in here, but look at over here. It has a function button for me. So I'm going to hit the function. I'm going to hit the sum. And notice that here's the equal sign, and it says sum of what? Well, you have to tell it what by clicking, holding, and then scrolling down and unclicking. So now I have the sum of B2 through B4, and then it totals up for me. Now you could do the same thing over here. Equal, sum, you know, click, scroll, that kind of stuff. But we can do it a different way also by taking this and move it, excuse me, not move it, but fill it to our right. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to fill it to our right. So now I have my total scores. Okay, we need to figure out then these percentages for each one of these keyboarding grades. So I'm going to start, a formula starts with a? Yell it out. Formula starts with a? Thank you, equal sign. So I'm going to go equals. I'm going to click on this one, and this time I'm going to divide it by this one because that gives me my grade, and notice that it says 80% already. And this is where then we want it either a percentage format or a decimal format. If I go down over here, it gives me my decimal formats, okay, and let's see, here's a percent, okay, 80%. Or I could go to a rounded normal number of 1. But I'm going to hit this format as percent, and it gives me my 80%. I can take this little uh, dot here and then fill it down. Notice I filled it down too far, so I have to get rid of this one. Okay. So my final scores for all of these all together is 72%. I'm going to take this one. Notice the hand and move it over one because I'm going to need that to be moved over there in just a second. I'm going to do the same thing with these. Sum. Notice how you can, once you get good at it, you can do it really quickly. Okay. Formula starts with a? Equal sign. Okay. And then I'll go this one divided by this one. Okay. And then I'll fill down. Notice that it doesn't have, let's take this one back over here and move that one over. Notice it doesn't have percentages. So I'm going to click on this whole row. And now I'm going to use the percentage format button, and it will give me percentages in that whole row. Okay, how do I get this one again? Well, I'm going to take this one and move it over and it says 100%. B2 divided by T B10. Well, that's a wrong percentage or that's a wrong one. So I'm going to have to go here again and say, okay, sum of these return. Okay, now I'm going to go and fill it over and now I can fill this one out down. I want to take this one and move it to my right one. And that's my percentages for quizzes and blogs. One more time. Okay, I'm going to go down here. Sum 
I'm going, I need the sum of these, return. I'm going to fill this one to my right, okay? I am then going to take this one and make a uh, percentage. So this one is B13 divided by C13. I'll fill these down. And then I'll take this one because it's my total and move it here. Okay. So a formula always starts with the equal sides. Formula and functions are about equal. Okay, they're the same thing. Fill down is when I just take this little thing and I just fill it down. Okay, move is when I get this handle on here and move it over. Okay, percentage format is when I have the percentage. Decimal format is when I have just a decimal type of number. And then now we're going to talk about the weighted average. Let's take a look at this. And I'm going to move these over because so I'm going to get my hand because I need a little more room. The keyboarding is set at 20% of my grade. So I'm going to put in a decimal format, 0.2. And then I'm going to put a 0.2 for my quizzes and blocks. And I'm going to put a 0.6 for my projects. Now, all I'm going to do is take this one and times it by this. So how I'm going to do that, I'm going to do a formula or a function again, equals, click, and then this time I'm going to use the shift 8, which is the times button, this. Okay, and that gives me then that percentage. Well, oh, these aren't in percentage format, so I'll bring it over. Okay, I could do the same thing with this row. Okay, now... I could take this and copy it and paste it. Copy is Command C, paste is Command V, Command V, and now I just need to add these up to get my final grade. How can I do that? Well, I can click my sum button, and I'm going to say I'm going to add all of these up, and I get my final grade is 86.98. So how am I going to grade you? I'm going to take a look at this, and I'm going to click on this to see if you have a formula. I'm going to click on this to see if you have a sum. I'm going to click on this to see if you have another formula. And then I'm going to click on this to see if you have another format. I'm going to look at your percentage in your formats to see if you have calculated a grade using your formulas and functions as well as some of these other tools. Okay, have a good day. Everybody say bye.